So far, Marseille are the only French club to have won the Champions League, and that was in 1993. A bunch of French clubs tried to win the title, either before or after them, and they even reached the final, but they all failed. So what if a PSG achieved today? If they don't win the Champions League, they are worth less than Marseille in Europe. But at the time, a few days later when they become European champions, some in Informations emerged that Marseille were offering bribes to rival clubs and their players were doping, which led them to jail a group of club members and players involved and prevent them from playing football. So watch the video to the end to find out what happened in details. To fully understand what happened in 1993, we have to go back to 1986, when Bernard Tapie took over the presidency of Marseille, a wealthy French businessman and politician, who made a name for himself by investing in struggling companies and managing to revive them. And the same applies to Marseille, a club in difficulty and unable to compete with its rivals. So he took over ownership of the club, invested a lot of money, money in it and bought several very good players at the time. As a result, the club won the French league four times in a row between 1989 and 1992 and reached the Champions League final in 1991. But unfortunately, most of its players were injured and the club lost on penalties to its star Belgrade. It's May 1993 and the club has two important matches to play. On 20 May, it has to win the final match against Valenciennes in order to win the league title for the fifth time in a row. On 26 May, they play the final against AC Milan, who were the best club in Europe at the time. As a result, they had to play the league game quietly to avoid any injuries, as happened to them two years ago, which deprived them of the title. And if they don't get injured, they might lose the match and the league, so the players will be playing in the Champions League final, shattered and mentally distracted, especially as they will be playing Valenciennes, who are in the last place and fighting to survive and not be relegated to the second division. But they played the league game and won it, so they won the French league, and five days later, they went to Munich to play in the Champions League final, and won by a single goal, a header from Basil Bolia, and then they defended strongly and won the title for the first time in their history and the history of French clubs. So far so good and everyone is happy and celebrating, especially in Marseille. But a few days later, some information began to circulate in the newspapers that Marseille had paid bribes to Valenciennes players to ensure that the match would be won and that no players would be injured. And little by little, it went from simple allegations to reality, especially when the players' confessions came out. So try to concentrate a little with me, because with so many names, and if you have never heard of them before, you might lose track. The confessions began with Jack Glassman, who said that he, Christophe Roberts, and Argentinian legend Jorge Borrochaga had been offered 215,000 francs during the match between Valenciennes and Marseille. And indeed, during the match, Robert was substituted in the first half when he claimed to be injured and he was just acting. And Borochaga was also very quiet during the match, especially as he was always known to complain about referring decisions. But the only one who didn't accept a bribe was Glassman, who started running around the pitch without stopping, as if he wanted to show everyone something. And and he told his coach what was going on during half time before deciding to take the case to court. In fact, after the investigation, they discovered 215,000 francs in the house of Robert Ant, which is why they began to investigate all the members and players of Marseille. It turns out that Marseille owner Bernard Tapie asked his player Jean-Jacques Idlier and general manager Jean-Pierre 
player business to bribe Valencian players. You might be wondering why he asked a player to do this and it's because Idli had four more teammates when he played at Nantes and they moved to Valencian. So at first Idli barely confessed to anything and didn't accuse the club president of anything either but during the interrogations they promised him a reduced sentence if he told them the truth. So during his trial he admitted that Bernard Tapi had told him you have to talk to your former teammates at Nantes so that they don't do anything stupid and so that they don't hurt our players before the final against Milan and then all the facts were revealed. Bernard Tapie was therefore sentenced to two years in prison and fined 20,000 francs but he was imprisoned for six months before being released on parole and he resigned from his position. Jean-Pierre Bernice was also sentenced to two years and Idli was banned from football for a year and sentenced to one year in prison but only spent 17 days. Jorge Borochaga and Christophe Roberts were banned from playing football for two years and jailed for six months and finally Jack Glassman received the FIFA Fair Play award in 1995 for not accepting bribes and taking the case to court and the French league title which they won in 1993 was snatched from them and the French Football Federation decided to award it to the second place PSG but they refused to accept it and Marseille were relegated to the second division lost all their good players and were banned from taking part in the Champions League the following year. In addition to being barred from playing in the Super Cup and the Intercontinental Cup in that year where AC Milan played who were runners up and that meant the Champions League title had to be taken away from them. No, that didn't happen. So far Marseille are the European champions. If you think everything is over here you you are wrong because after Gennady Gustilev, then the coach of Siska Moscow, said he took bribes from Marseille during the Champions League group stage that year, but no evidence was provided, and he later withdrew his complaint. And in 2011, Mark Hatili, a Rangers player at the time, claimed he had received bribes not to play against them. But what has made the most noise is John Jack Idlia when he published his autobiography in 2006 in which he claims that he and other Marseille players received injections of doping products before the Milan final. But despite all these accusations they have not provided any solid evidence. Of course there are other accusations but there is no need to mention them all. Although the accusations that have been substantiated only concern the league match against Valenciennes, that year's Champions League title was also tarnished and Marseille fans can't talk about it with pride without remembering the scandals that took place at the time. And the most annoying thing is that when you look at the players they had, you realize that it was stupid to bribe or do anything else because it was a complete and strong team that could beat any other club.